<laughs> What's going on, WBSC? Uh, here again on another tasting. Uh, but this one was brought to us by Jim Z Dr. Jimmy Z. <laughs> The mixologist mixing machine. Uh, so a lot of you know we do the Zoom rooms on WBSE on Saturday. Uh, we we kind of have them pretty religiously. They're a lot of fun. Uh, you make connections. Richard and I, the guy with the beard, if you guys don't know Richard. Uh, Man hammered. Him and I became pretty close and tight and developed a really good friendship over the Kentucky Roundup. Uh, we were in a van called Van Hammond, motherfucker. <laughs> uh, so the Zoom room, due, due to all this pandemic bullshit, uh, the Zoom room really is taken off and Tasha, a.k.a. the bossy fucking poodle, Smalls has been really, that's been her kind of her baby and yeah. she's been doing a stand-up job uh everybody oh, is in there every saturday night all, all six of us at some point or the other and there's usually a lot of other people so we invite everybody first off to join uh join make connections make friends you, you know that's what wbsc is about so jimmy uh being the stand-up crazy motherfucker that he is he sent all of us Two ounce samples of Pappy Van Winkle, twenty three year old, two thousand nineteen release. Uh, I did have more in my glass, but we had a glass accident. We won't talk about. Ah, <laughs> uh, so anyway, uh, so everybody in here except myself is a Pappy twenty three novice. They never had it. Uh, they've had. I know Sarah's had a Pappy. 15 mixed drink uh, mm -hmm. at a party of mine recently. Uh, I'm not sure about Tasha, Will, uh, Richard, or Jimmy, what all they've experienced, but Pappy 23 is the granddaddy of bourbon, so to speak. Everybody really it goes after chasing the Van Winkle stuff. And I mean, rightfully so, it's really good. Uh, so a little <coughs> bit about the Van Winkle stuff. It goes back to the late 1800s when Julian Pappy Van Winkle started with the William LaRue company. Uh, he was a salesman. Uh, long story short, I mean, there, there's a long history on it. And I mean, a simple Google search, you guys could find out about the history. And it's kind of, it's rather interesting. Uh, essentially, he ended up taking over the company, running the Stetzel Oil Company after they partnered up. Uh, it survived prohibition. You know, it started thriving in the 50s. Uh, you know, and their weeded lineup was really a big success for a lot of people. I mean, so the weeded whiskeys, a lot of us know the old Weller lineups uh, up to the Van Winkle lineups out of the modern day Buffalo Trace is something everybody covets, whether it's Weller Foolproof or Weller 12 year old, William LaRue Weller, uh, which is one of my all time favorites, and, and the Van Winkle lineup. So Without getting into arguments, every, everything starts as Weller product, and it goes into, depending on the barrel age, as what it's selected as. So Pappy 23 is the big boy of the group. I mean, it, it could fetch up to $3,000 a bottle on the secondary mark. I think retail, it goes for, I believe it's two ninety nine dollars a bottle. 250 to 300 yeah, they're about. Yep. It, 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 of course, everything varying on state and yeah. you know type of type of state. Uh, but MSRP suggested MSRP out of the uh, distilleries two ninety nine, I believe. Uh, so, I mean, we could talk the history of the Weller line, uh, the Van Winkle lineup. Uh, we know they hate the secondary markets. That's why you had a purge recently speculative uh on a lot of the facebook groups is because julian uh the third i think it is got involved at, as well as mark brown uh and now i'm being split speculative on that uh so any anyway I, i'm getting off on the ty tyrant uh we all got some in our glass because i know you're all anticipating this poor 
Uh, first off, I want to raise my glass. Say thanks, Jim. Sincerely. Thanks, Jimmy. Thank you, Jim. Mahalo. Thanks, Jimmy. So, you, you know, we all have had it poured in a glass for a few minutes, 10, 15 minutes. I just poured mine because my last glass is down there on the floor, broken in a thousand pieces. <laughs> Heart. <laughs> just joking. Accidents happen. <laughs> so when you raise it up to your nose, you swirl it around, all that stuff, you don't get a lot of alcohol on it. First. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's what? What is it? I've got to look at. It. I know it's below a hundred proof. Uh, yeah, it's like forty-seven. It's forty-seven point eight yeah. ABV. So it's not real strong. What's that? Like a hundred and uh, ninety. Uh, and change. Ninety-four. Ninety-four. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So it's not super strong. It's not super strong. No. And you get that on the nose. Oh, yeah. But you definitely get age on the nose when you're smelling it. Yeah. So I don't know. This is the oldest thing I've ever smelled. <laughs> as far I was as around you, goes. Uh, okay, I was going to say I was around you two didn't weeks you, ago. Didn't you see Chad oh. a couple weeks ago? As far oh. as alcohol is concerned, <laughs> but you, you know, with something this old, twenty three years old, I mean, you you get this true rich aroma, and with the lower yeah. alcohol proof, without getting the alcohol burn, it, it just the 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 nose just really shines through on on a pour like this. So when I'm smelling it. I'm getting kind of like a toasted marshmallow, a little bit of caramel, uh -huh. a little bit of sweetness, like a sweet, tarty fruit, like a like a cherry almost. It's like it's a like custard. Yeah. I got like a custard. Custard. Like a, I, I see that. Yeah. And then Sarah yeah. pointed one out, and I was a little bit like, I, I think I, I'm smelling that, <clears throat> but I'm not 100% sure is walnut. And mm -hmm. you definitely get that on there. And of course you get the vanillas and slight mm -hmm. caramels. Yeah. The maple, the honey. Yeah. You, you know, and definitely char. Definitely yeah, char. I get, I get mm -hmm. a tiny I get a tiny yeah. hint of like little burnt sugar. Little yeah. Little sugar. The burnt yeah. Sugar. Okay. It's almost like a creme brulee like caramel kind of yeah. situation. Yeah. Like that's yeah. why I was like, what yeah. does that smell? I know it. It's that burnt sugar kind of situation. Yeah. So we all might not get the same senses on these things. Nope. Uh, you, you know, I, I can smell a lot of different things. We we could get down. Are, are you smelling raisin? Are you smelling this? Are you, yeah. you know, somebody said, are you smelling an old baseball glove or yeah. beef jerky <laughs> yeah. or whatever? Leather. So it, it's it's very <laughs> subjective. So mm -hmm. when I'm trying a whiskey, especially a new whiskey, and I immerse myself into the glass, I'm really trying to think of things I've eaten over the years, things I've smelled, you, you know, familiar scents. And mm -hmm. I try to correlate that with the, with the glass I'm trying. And like I say, depending on your level where you're at <clears throat> with your whiskey experience, you, you know, it's subjective, you, you yeah. know, so, you, you know, uh, you, you can't use everything I say verbatim by any means. You, no. uh, Tasha got custard almost. Yeah. You, you know, or the creme brulee. Yeah. I, I can see where you're getting the creme brulee from. Yeah. Which, God, I haven't had a good creme brulee in a while. Right. <laughs> I never And have. I hate eggs. I hate eggs. So I'm like, oh, that is what that is. Like, <laughs> yeah, For me, it's like I, I get a slight dusty, just a little bit. It's not as much as like, say, an Orphan Barrel 25, which is a totally mm -hmm. different, it's a bourbon, it's not a weeder. You know, I mean, it's not the same mash bill. You know, right. that's this is a weeder, those aren't. But it has that dustiness of an old, old it's just that it has that age, you know, to it. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? mm -hmm. Well, now, question are these the ones that are kept? Because I know Freddie was talking about the honey hole. In, is, are these the ones that are kept in that like hole? Is this what's kept the, in there? The, the honey hole is a spot where whiskey ages right. really good. Uh, so I'm not certain how Julian Van Winkle, I think it's the third, and his family goes through the warehouses and checking their spots. Yeah. Uh, so I, I, I can't say if they're from a honey hole spot, but yeah. you know, they've all been in the industry long enough. They know where... To know. Yeah, to know where it know, is, yeah. What, what a good spot is, regardless if it's the, the honey hole spot, the... Sorry, uh, which spot it is. Uh, yeah. So that that's on them, and 
you know, I'm, I'm, I mean, Jesus, I'm sure some people love the stuff on the top top floor of the rig. Top shelf, yeah, 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 you know, exactly. So it, it really is subjective. So wherever they, I, I think when they're tasting, and this just my thoughts, they're going for taste specific profiles. Yeah. And, you, you know, not all barrels are going to meet this specification or okay. ju just and that's any other bourbon uh, for that matter or, or scotch yeah. irish whiskey yeah. you know the, the tasters down at the distilleries they are well they know what they're doing you, they you know, know what they're I, looking for yeah i, I had a, a tasting at the house last week and it was a, a weller foolproof lineup with the old weller antique and another weeder and for me out of the weller foolproofs the standard bottle was better than the store picks. It, it was richer. It was more. Yeah. So the, the, the people who put that together, they, they know what they're talking about. So, I mean, it's kind of trusting what the distillers do. If you like it, you like it. Yeah. And if you don't, well, get something else. Right. Uh, yeah. So let, let's go ahead and uh, <coughs> try a little taste. Sorry, my kids are playing. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty damn good, isn't it? <laughs> damn it. And I thought it liked my beef cinema. Oh. Definitely get the charred oak. Oh yeah, right. definitely. Uh, yeah, there's definitely so, oak. Uh, I'll tell you what I get right away. I get the, the, the charred oak, like Jimmy just said. I get that cherry flavor. Yep. And it, it's it's that tartness that <laughs> I, I correlate to cherries. Uh I get a very light almost like cinnamon toast crunch yes like yes. Uh, cinnamon yes. forward but that butteriness of the cinnamon toast crunch uh, and i'm not talking to cereal i'm talking about nope. you know no. cinnamon toast, toast. And, cinnamon toast, toast. And butter oh, right God. Cinnamon toast. that's kind of what i really get out of this <laughs> the, the yep. flavor last it, it gets kind of muted mm -hmm. and it kind of hang for me it hangs on the back side of my tongue yeah. yeah but it just well, i'm right i'm still getting those walnuts back there though that's yeah. the thing that okay. like meaty walnut taste back there is still mm -hmm. honey is there yeah yeah the walnut it's almost honey. as if someone it's almost as if somebody made a pecan pie with walnuts that's kind of yes. what i'm <laughs> yeah yeah it's that sugary sweet nutty but not too meaty not nutty so much as meaty like the meaty nuts like mm -hmm. that sounds horrible, but you guys just let me know. So, <laughs> well, when I finish on, on the very tail end of the finish, I, I'm getting like a dry raisin. Yes. Like, yes. Yeah. Like, a, I, um, not, like the, a, not the golden raisin. Right, like right, a, right. Like one of those purple raisin raisins, raisins that you would get on yeah. Halloween yeah, yeah. that everybody yes. threw away, but I was that sick freaking kid who liked to down those boxes too. <laughs> oh, they were great. They were delicious. You know, what about you just no. chug it? There's I, I, that's well, where you're chugging again, isn't it? Started. That's uh, where you're chugging started with raisins so on Halloween. Th this is Pappy 23. That's uh, amazing. It, it's let me ask you this, Sarah. Um, you got three thousand dollars in your pocket. I would go buy the bottle. For three I'm not grand. kidding. I yeah, I would do it. My husband okay. would hate me, but I would do it. Uh, who needs a husband? Oh, damn. <laughs> and what then about I would, you, Rich? Oh damn. <laughs> Three grand? Hold on, let me take a more sip of that. I definitely would buy the bottle. Yeah. All right, let's split it. We can split it. Let's split it. Yeah. yeah. Three thousand three thousand dollars? No. Yeah, no, nah, yeah, what, I, what, I wouldn't. What about two grand? Mm. I'd go like seven fifty. Maybe. I'm not talking maybe. To you. Ooh, yet? Yes. I mean, I could. I, I hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Well, <laughs> oh, he's not talking to you either. So, huh? No, I, this is something I'm always curious about. What people? Yeah. Are. Two grand, Rich. Two grand bottle could be yours, baby. Oh no, I'm not. I'm not paying. I wouldn't pay two grand for it. I'm. I'm almost to the point where I don't even know. I mean, I like it. It's good. I've had. <laughs> oh. I've had. I've had cheaper whiskeys that are that are. That I've enjoyed a lot more than this. Are you uh, calling the Jim Carrey line and liar liar? I'll bet better. No, I am not a liar liar. 
Um, I would, no, 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 I mean, the movie Liar Liar. <laughs> no, <laughs> I mean, especially for, for weeded whiskeys, out of, the, out of the weeded whiskeys that I've had that I can compare to it, um, I mean, for the price, I mean, I'm almost to the point, I don't even know if, I mean, if I saw this bottle and I got it for MSRP, would I grab it? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. I would grab it for MSRP. Now, would I turn it into other bottles that I like? Possibly. <laughs> I don't know if I would keep it. <laughs> uh, understandable. Yeah, that's, 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 that's yeah, just, game, yeah. just how I am. I mean, because I can, the like the what you brought up earlier, Chad, with the Weller Foolproof, these guys, they know what they're doing. I have a, the one Weller Foolproof that I have, which is Store Pick. I could drink that bottle all day long, and mm -hmm. it is. I think it's better than than this, in my opinion. Hey, Jimmy Z, you bought this bottle. I'm not going to ask you what you paid for it because that's kind of not cool. Uh, but would you spend three grand? No. <laughs> would you spend, I, what, would you spend what, two ninety nine again for a bottle? I would spend two. I'd say three fifty. Three fifty max. Yeah. Okay. Three fifty max. Right. Yeah. Sorry. The thing is, Chad, is that you know what? Here's here's how I look at it. You know, William Larue Weller. Okay, that goes right. for you know six hundred secondary five six hundred somewhere. Like like, you know. Um, and here, well, I, can I, can I take five bottles of William Larue Weller and one bottle of Kathy? You know, that's the thing is it has to, I'm glad I got this. I think it's a phenomenal, phenomenal weeded bourbon. It's very unique. It's got that age to it that you're not going to get in any other weeded bourbon that I know of at this quality. But yeah. I think at the end of the day, you have to weigh, you know, if you're asking me straight up, would I buy another bottle of it? Yes. I am not going to spay, you know, those high secondary prices that's that is no. precisely why i wanted everybody to share who hasn't had it you know to yeah. get an idea of what it is because yeah i think it's ludicrous to pay that kind of money for a secondary bottle you know so you know right. yeah. that's just my opinion what about you will same question would you spend three grand three grand two grand no i mean there's it's just there's a lot more we can get i can, I can get that i like mm -hmm. i mean i can get what I just take eighteen for two hundred on secondary. I mean, I'd get thirty of them. Yeah, All right. Yeah. All right, Tasha. I, I kind of right. went in order uh, yeah, of, of course you specific did. way. Well, no, there was a reason. I know Sarah. So, Sarah hold on, Sarah's fairly yeah, newish to whiskey. I know Will and Richard have been in the game for a long time. Jim's been kind of really up there with a lot of his bottles and yourself also kind of an experienced on certain things. Yeah. Yeah. So where so would you to me, yeah, exactly. To me, like if I yes. Do I think it's worth more than retail? No. But me also being relatively new to this whole bourbon thing, would I be like, hey, come see what I've got on my bar for like you know, the six months that it lasted, maybe. <laughs> Absolutely. That's exactly like maybe. What it lasted, <laughs> and that's what I'm saying. I'm like, hey, look what I've got. So anybody that, here's what I would do. I would, and and there's been the conversation before, I would have it on my bar for anybody that I knew could appreciate it. Right. Like, <clears throat> I, I, would, I would have it there and be like, yeah, granted, maybe I, maybe I spent way more than I should have. Would I spend three grand? Absolutely freaking not. Two, one, no. Maybe like 500 bucks, maybe, maybe I'd go a little higher if it was important, if it was special, if I knew that spending that much money and having this bottle could actually make somebody else really, really happy. I like if I knew that, that, right that sharing it with somebody else who probably could never, ever get it would make it really, make them really, really happy, make it special. Yes, I would bite the bullet. But That's would I do that just for myself? Absolutely not. Okay. Somebody yeah. want to ask me that question? Chad? We well, already know you Chad, say no. Three grand? No fucking way. <laughs> one, just like I was talking about the 18-year-old uh, marriage from Taylor. No. 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 Uh, so uh, in this glass, I'm, I'm drinking something. I'm not going to disclose what I'm drinking. Uh, the people in the video know what I'm drinking. This is better than this. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's I, a hell of a lot. It's 14 sort of years like old. 
I kind of it's say 14 like years old. Uh, proof is slightly yeah, higher, but it's it's really fucking good. It blows us out of the water. If I, if not not that I'm you know opposed to selling bottles because I I've sold plenty of bottles. Uh, if I got a 23 and it, I wasn't going to do something stupid with it, like make it into fucking cocktails. Punch? Or yeah. party. Uh, I'd probably sell it and get something that I really like. Uh, is it worth yeah. 2000? Fuck no. Is it worth 1500? Hell no. Is, yeah. it, is it worth a thousand? Not really. Uh, mm. I, I think it's a really good whiskey for what it is. Uh, it's not dynamic to me. Uh, I mean, Richard said about the baller foolproof, it, it has more going on than this does. You're right, it does. Uh, and it's the same fucking juice. Crazy. William LaRue Weller, which retails for uh, roughly 80 bucks, uh, right. has way more going than the Pappy 23. Uh, now, I, I think with the Van Winkle bottles, especially the face pa pappies, as some people call them, uh, they do garner a little prestige what? or what have you. If I walk into somewhere and I see that bottle on the shelf, I'm going to be like, oh, how much oh, is yeah. a pour? Well, and then yeah. they tell me a pour is like 150 bucks and I'm like, well, All right, give me some E.H. Taylor, right. Uh, yeah. So with, with the Pappy, especially like the 20, 23, 20 is horrible in my opinion. Uh, 15 is a phenomenal pour. It's really good. I think, I think the vast majority of people who actually really drink and enjoy the drinks uh, like the 15 better than the 20 and 23, just because it has a little bit more bite to it. Uh, proof, right? it it's 107 proof, yeah. just like 107 uh, right. color and old rep band. Good character Wait. too. So it's, it's right. Not so it's... You, you know when we talk of the Van Michael, like I say, these these are for special moments, sort of speak. Yes. And right here, my my Zoom family. Uh, this is a special moment. Uh, we're sharing it yeah. with, with Jimmy because his generosity and everybody else. Yeah. It, you know, but when you talk the hype train of the the whiskey, it, it doesn't correlate to me. I mean, well, Chad, I think, you know, it's like that bottle that I sent, you know, the half bottle. Oh, oh my God. That was so much better than this. The season, season wood. Was it season? Season oaks. Season oaks. Uh, sorry, I've got too much whiskey on my mind. Uh, the Woodford Reserve. <laughs> all the whiskey on his mind. All of it. The Wood, Woodford Reserve Master Collection of Seasoned Oak, uh, 2009. You want to talk about a fucking stellar <laughs> Wow. I got to share that with 10 different people. And I had two small pours myself. Yeah. And that was awesome. And that was awesome. That was a spectacular pour. Uh, this is a spectacular pour. It is. But when you compare it to the hype train, is it that spectacular? Oh, no, look at Sarah go. No, I'm going to compare it because you're like, this tastes better than rah, rah, or something. So here's the funny thing. <laughs> I am not a fan. I am not even remotely a fan of the weeded bourbons. Not really? a little bit. Really? Not a little bit. I don't like Weller. I don't like any of it. I, I just don't. And I, I know you what? <laughs> Dasha. I've never had stag. It's hot as hell. It's hot. It's hot. See? So here's the thing. Took me all night to drink a shot of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's hot. This is why I stick with the things like this is why I stick with the things like Jim Bean Black. And <laughs> I stick with Elijah Craig. And I stick with things that don't make me want to breathe fire. But I'm, ah. I'm, this is delightful. I'm so thankful. For so Sarah's for about to have a drink of our Weller Foolproof. Weller, just, and then she's just curious. gonna, she's gonna be like, no, you, yeah, well, no, I'll take this more. In the beginning, you smell all that, like, alcohol, like. It, it's non shell filtered <laughs> yeah. Weller Foolproof is, so that does a big thing to it. Yep. But now I'm getting the honey and raisins and. Uh -oh. See, that's funny that it's the same thing, just I a little just more punch. There's in your not face. like there's not enough char there's not like as much charred oak for sure. Well, it's about six to eight years old, probably. Yeah. So you're talking a, a monster difference. Oh yeah. And oak. And you know and I knew Richard go get that full proof. 
<laughs> Richard ran and got it. <laughs> Rich got Rich got the foolproof. I knew he would. Yeah. As soon as he walked out of the room, he went to go get it. I knew he did. Yeah, I'm gonna taste it next to him. I mean, it's kind of like the got that charred flavor and a little bit of cherry, but not as and it's not as I don't know. It's not as um pronounced. Yeah, it's just really it's like a weaker version, but it tastes better in a way. Yeah. I can't describe. I don't know why. It's I you're. you're uh, I think with the process and the proof, <clears throat> you're kind of comparing apples and oranges. Yeah, the proof you, is higher. Especially when you uh, compare the age or the lack yeah. thereof to the age. Uh, Twenty three years for bourbons old. I mean, That's we had twenty five yeah. year old. Uh, uh, was it rhetoric the other week? Yeah, the uh, that was. You know, phenomenal. I, and I yeah. like over oaked whiskeys myself. I mean, the oakier, the better for me. Like I'm getting old, there. Old, I'm getting like that, that point. Stuff, that, that 27 yeah. Heaven Hill would be your. Be oh, your, I guarantee you that'd be my. That stuff, that part. stuff is like, it's, it's like, it's like, it's like drinking because it's very smooth. So it's kind of like drinking, like, um, it's almost like drinking out of a fresh oak glass, almost like a, like a, I don't know how to explain, explain no, it. I, it's, I, it is oaky. I, I know yeah. you're I mean, <laughs> it's like you, you get that out. Wood. It, and it's nothing wrong with that. I, I yeah. love yeah. that in a good whiskey. And uh, yeah. I, I think, drier I think, the better. Yep. I think the twenty seven. Yeah. I think the twenty seven Heaven Hill is better than this twenty three year Heaven. Right. Yeah. So, and, and but like I say, everything's perspectives, and, and you, you know, with the Pappy lineup, you have the major, major hype train pushing it. Yeah, you still you're saying, been, like you got it's hype being train, pushed. Like... It's being pushed since 2013, 14, and it's only accelerated to astronomical speeds. That's so out of fucking control. <laughs> uh, and you, you know, I, I don't know. I, 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 I well, get. I, I love this stuff, but I also kind of get annoyed and kind of almost tired of it. Okay, so, well, Chad, Chad, Chad shared with me, you know, before this, before we started, that you had a 1970... 70-something. Now, it, it was a, what that is compared to what you just had. Well, that was, that's a Weller juice. So it was a little bit different, yeah. and, and it was old. I mean, it was old as fuck. I don't remember the year of it. I know it was an old Rick Van Winkle, some sort. Yeah. You can't earn it. It was pretty up there and totally different. I mean, it's just like... You know, drinking the old Eagle Rares or the old Jim right. that I have, it's totally unique to what you get today. Right. So it, I had to yeah. laugh because when I told people that I had this, I had three different people say to me, how have you not cracked that yet? And I was like, well, because I'm waiting. And they're like, <laughs> what are you waiting for? I'm like, it's I'm called loyalty. Loyalty. I to drink it with my friends. And I'm like, they're like, we, how how could you, what, what kind of self-restraint do you have? And I'm like, well, because there's some there's a reason you drink it with the people that you care about like that's the point and sharing it with people and that that's like, kind of what the zoom is the night yeah, right they're like, good point they're like you didn't it, even you know, smell the it i'm like no is, <laughs> jimmy wanted to share this with some friends that he's made on our yeah. zoom rooms and Aww, that's what we're doing we're just we're just talking whiskey <laughs> you, you know <laughs> all that good stuff and that's what whiskey jimmy even put a shirt on for you guys tonight Jimmy put a shirt and on. it has a collar. Mm-hmm. And it's got a collar. <laughs> oh, well, I think you should this was, hey, You remember uh, uh, Freddie Johnson interview, right? And he's talking yeah. about the old stuff, the, you know, the good stuff and all that. Uh-huh. And that you just don't want to pop it and pour it and drink it and out the door. That's wow. that's not what it, that's not what this stuff's for. This stuff well, is for to sit around well, and really, you know. <clears throat> But what else? What what else did he say in that? You know, his father said, "Freddie, there's always going to be old bourbon aging." Always going to be old bottles. Yep. Always going to be old bourbon aging in in those barrels in the warehouses. Yep. But you don't get too many moments to raise your glasses for these chips. And so let's raise our glasses. Let's drink. It's not like I can drive to Pennsylvania or Maryland or North Carolina right. or Alabama 
You know, maybe me and Rich can meet up sometimes. Yeah, you guys are going to do that road trip. Come on, you're going to Frankfurt. It's this environment, so it's great that we have the Zoom room in order to do this kind of stuff. So yeah. I gotta say, I don't, That's... I don't honestly think without you guys, the last few months, this would have been even remotely possible. Like, just yeah, I, I, I love all you guys. It makes my little heart happy. My, my icy right. cold heart. On <clears throat> Saturday nights, it's a little happy. It keeps me on my rails, but also throws me off my rails occasionally. So yeah, it's about three fun. o'clock Sunday morning. Yeah, <laughs> four forty-five. Uh, Tasha, we're going to just kill the live feed here in a minute. But all right, well, uh, we'll cheers we're gonna, to all of us then. So raise your glasses. Right. Uh, old whiskey and barrels, and new friends in our hearts. Cheers, cheers, cheers y'all. Lancha. <laughs> <laughs>